Hey YouTube, it's your girl Javina Love back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing, my beauty, my busy bees? Ain't busy, I hope. Mm -hmm. Keeping it sexy, child. We try to always, even when we're not feeling our best. You know, it's one of them days. You guys know I love you, but I had to get on here and be inspired, even though I wasn't feeling too well. But you're not here for that. You're here for. Mask Monday with the Beauty Ninjas. As you see, I don't have my co-host, my co-captain. He is resting right now. So I figured I would get up here and do a charcoal mask since it's a free-for-all. And this is a Freeman Detoxing Charcoal Mud Mask. And I know you put it to clean skin. Yeah, apply a mask to face and neck, avoiding contact with the eyes. Leave for 7 to 10 minutes or until dry. Rinse with water. Use twice a week. If needed. <laughs> Girls, y'all know that I can't see nothing. I really, really am struggling with these things. But I got me a little brush here. I figured I would put it on with a brush and be fancy. I had my wand, but I don't know what I did with it. Just that freaking quick. But how are you guys been? Let me know in the comments below. Have you been watching any new movies? Because I'm here to tell you. I just saw, not once, not twice, like I haven't done this since I was younger, six times. I have watched that movie, The Tomorrow War, on Prime. It has Chris Pratt in it. And every time you watch a movie, you know, a lot of people only watch a movie once or twice. But I seem to see other things that I could not see, especially when it wants you to focus on one thing. So I have to watch it a couple of times so that I can see it. And it was so loud, I could not hear the humans. I was like, whoever recorded that messed that up. So I had to recalibrate my speaker and my computer to make it so that I could hear them and see them. I had to wear earbuds. I put it on my TV with the Bose and it did the same thing where you could hear the background noise really well but you couldn't hear the the people. But that wasn't the problem. There was no problems after I had readjusted everything. You know, the Bose uh, speaker system will calibrate to vocals more than the music or background noise, so that helped a lot too. It is fun for the whole family. It is not one of those ones that you're gonna be worried about your kids watching or um, experiencing, I should say, because a lot of us do shield our children from a lot of things, and I do, I shield my children from a lot of things. But I watched it two times before I let them watch it, and it was wonderful, I'm not gonna lie. It was one of them movies that I was like, I've gotta see this again, I really, really do. And so I did. I watched it again <laughs> and again. And then I started pushing it out to everybody, including the ninjas, to go watch it because it was really good. So if you ever want to find a good family movie, I mean, it was awesome. I just popped some popcorn and everybody had blow pops and we just enjoyed the movie and it was really good. With Chris Pratt from um, the Galaxy movies. Mm -hmm. That handsome devil. Well, you'd see him without a shirt on once. <laughs> that was the sad part. I wish they would do that more. I mean, he's... I remember when he was fat on The Office. You guys remember that show, The Office? It was a British or English show. And we adapted it to our own, like, Park and Recreation. I believe he was in Parks and Recreation also. I know for sure he was in The... Uh, no, I think it was Park and Recreation I'm thinking about. And he wasn't in The Office as, as much as he was in Park and Recreation. Yeah, he was a bigger dude. He was not comfortable in his own skin. He would make a point to say that, you know, in his roles and out of roles, that he was just not content with his weight. And I really admired how he 
put it the you know pedal to the metal and really lost the weight that he needed to lose and now I'm looking at my old pictures you guys Ooh, I have been looking I need to put a little bit more around my chin I can feel it kind of like tingling I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but it feels good and I don't feel it enough where my trouble area my trouble area is that smile right here under the lip um, but yeah he encouraged by the time, I think he was starting his weight loss journey right when I started my weight loss journey. And I really, really admire how he's kept it going and kept it off. So I went back into my archives and I found some pictures of me from 2016, right before I started my weight loss journey. And you guys, I know, I, I think I have one underneath here. It's probably underneath this. It ha I sit. I sit a picture right here as a reminder. Um, and I think I have one over here too. Let me look. But I had some reminders I printed out for Father's Day for myself, so that I don't forget. You know. And I think I used them all. But I gave them all as a Father's Day gift in a mug to see where I came from and to see where I'm at. It's been so, it's been like an enlightenment, you know, it really, really has been enlightening to me that the woman that I became through all the struggles that I went through and all the pain, because, yeah, we put on a pretty smile when we're a big girl, and I'm always going to have fat brains, I'm always going to have fat girl brains, I've always loved yummy food, so that's not the problem. It was what was wrong and how I abused myself was the problem and I caused so much pain to myself without understanding that the pain that other people were reflecting to me, I was just doing myself worse. So if you ever feel that way, you know, you have to stop and remind yourself, do a, I can't remember what they're called, like things, little things, muses whispering in your ears, you know, about, you know, I positive um, positive thoughts you know for yourself and I used to always say I can paint a pretty face which is true I can paint a pretty face but I rocked a broken heart and so I had to unbreak my heart I had to love myself again and that was really really hard the hardest thing in the world is to love yourself you can always say yeah I love myself do you really love yourself? Like, are you doing something that is fulfilling and loving to yourself? That's where I was having a problem. Because, yeah, I said I love myself, but I was still walking around here 440 pounds and getting bigger. And once I had the lost surgery, it really dawned on me that I didn't love myself. Even after I got real small to a point where I was really sick. And literally, I was almost 130 pounds. It was really, really bad. I was malnutrition, and I was exercising my butt off at the gym, and I swore to everything, you guys. This is before I had my skin removal. It was just so hard to reflect on that. And in shape is a really great place to get a mentor or a counselor that can, or a trainer, because they're like mentors, your, your trainers. And I had two different trainers. And this is before I had, you know, the skin removed. And they were telling me, talk to some people within the same community who have gone through what I've gone, that I was going to go through before I go through it. So I did a lot of my own research, my own homework, and to find out, you know, shrinking your stomach helps for a year or two. But if you still abuse the food that you know you shouldn't be eating anymore, you're just going to put it all back on again. You're all That's just the way it is. And I've saw a lot of people go through that in my five years, now going on six years, um, that have put the weight back on. Now, I ended up, like I've told you guys a few videos ago, I wasn't feeling too good because I'm changing medicine. Well, apparently the medicine I was on caused me to gain weight. And I was like, 
Why am I always hungry late at night? Why am I going to bed with a piece of bread? I don't like bread. I don't like this. I mean, I loved those things when I was a big girl, but as I got smaller, it made me sick. And then having my teeth removed was a problem because, you know, that makes it hard for you to chew meat. Don't worry, you guys. Dinner's appointment's on its way. I will be catfishing by my birthday. I know it. I feel it in my heart. We're going to make my teeth by the end of this month. And I'll be catfishing and be able to chew a lot better and not have to live on so many um, protein shakes to get my nutrition in. So... My whole point of this was just to let you guys know that if you take your time and you can, the easiest way I lost weight, easiest way that I got myself healthy, because we're getting ready to hit the cold weather where we're going to want to eat a lot more soups, we're going to turn into little bears, cut your portions in half. That's the first thing. If you go to a restaurant, ask for it to go plate with your meal, cut your portions in half. Cut the whole meal in half. And you'll see a difference in yourself. It isn't that you're not going to eat it. It's just it should take you about an hour to eat half of what America's portion sizes are. And then eventually you can cut that in half and cut it down again. And now I'm on what is basically a toddler size portion. But you got to eat it six, seven times a day. And, you, and I feel good now. I feel much better now that the medicine has changed. Even though I'm kind of like, Ugh. But I feel better that the medicine has changed because I'm not eating as much junk. It was making me crave sugar, like nobody's business. So, with that in mind, I just want you guys to be healthy for the winter because everybody wants to get hot body by the summer, but honestly, we work out better in the winter because we want to stay warm. So, that's that. All right, so I'm gonna give this a wash and be back with some moisturizers. All right. So I really like the way that mask felt. Ooh, cat hair. <laughs> I did find this at the Dollar Tree, if you're interested in it. I've been on the hunt for this one that is also at the Dollar Tree because this is a good one too. If you want to just do a mud mask, clay mask, tightening, boosting, brightening, as you can see. Those are some pretty good ones. And I know they sell them at Walmart and somewhere else, but honey, do the... Wait, just wait and get it at the Dollar Tree. It's the same size, and it's really good. So, I'm going to end this video with thanking you guys so much for spending time with me. You know, I appreciate it. I really, really do. If you're new here, hey, I'm your girl, Jovina. And welcome to Mass Monday with the Beauty Ninjas. I hope you stick around, join the hive, enjoy some of my other videos. I got playlists of videos. I am trying to get up to a thousand subscribers and get monetized also I've got an active giveaway going on go down and find that video and I'm wait I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers and I'll have three winners so thank you all and I will see you all later I see you sis have a good one bye